So in today's video, we're gonna go through one of my childhood favorite restaurants that I loved going to. It didn't matter the occasion, after church, after lacrosse practice, you name it, it was an awesome place to go to. And that franchise is Panera Bread. I mean, so many memories here. I think I even had one of my first interviews at a Panera Bread and they, they really revolutionized that third space. So together with Starbucks, they revolutionized this concept where you have your home, your work, and then this third space that you can work out of, you can read a book from, you can meet friends and hang out at that third space. Panera Bread at one point in time had the most free Wi-Fi locations in the whole United States. So people would just post up, work from their laptops, from Panera Breads. Now, fast forward 2022, peak times there are limits and they might limit you to 30 minutes or 60 minutes during the, the lunch traffic, but it's an iconic brand. And we're gonna go through in today's video the franchise costs, a little bit about the history, and to see if today it's worth investing in a Panera Bread or if that ship has already sailed off. So Panera Bread's an American chain store, bakery, cafe, fast casual concept. They have over 2,000 locations and it's headquartered in Missouri. The company still operates as St. Louis Bread Company where it was founded. They have over 100 locations. They have bakery items, pasta, salad, sandwiches, soups, specialty drinks. Uh, I love the, you pick two special, you get a uh, soup together with half a sandwich, a lot of different options. In the background of Panera Bread, Ron Seitz acquired, they had you know 20 plus locations, small business in St. Louis. He acquired and built it up and really created a conglomerate where they also bought Aubon Payne and it IPO'd in the early 1990s. So the company grew like fire and during its final 20 years as a publicly traded company from 1997 to 2017, it was the best performing restaurant stock. It delivered an 86 time return to shareholders from the time that it was initially IPO'd till the time JAB holding company bought it which is owned by the Raymond family uh, of Germany, it went up 40 times in that 25 year period. So amazing return for shareholders. It had a, an amazing run in, in the early 2000s. Right now though, it, it's this business model has changed and where you might've been able to open up just one, two or three Paneras back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Now they're really looking for a sophisticated restaurant operator where you're gonna open up 10, 20 locations and really dominate a, a market. And it's expensive. Just one location is gonna set you back one to $3.5 million. That does include the initial franchise fee of 35,000. And then other fees like uh, different technology products, services, et cetera, that add up to another $40,000 due to Panera Bread. You're gonna have to have a net worth to be an area developer of Panera Bread of $7.5 million, as well as liquid assets of 3 million. And you have to have major real estate experience in the market that you're looking to develop, cultural fit, passion for fresh bread. Um, so there's a whole slew of requirements if you're looking to explore and develop Panera Breads in your, in your community. The average unit volume, so the average Panera Breads earns $2.7 million as of 2021, assuming you're running a 15% profit margin. As an owner, you can expect to make about $400,000. So from the time it takes to open, say you identify the site, you get the permits, you build it out, you hit uh, stabilization where you're able to start drawing money from the business. We estimate from the time you make that initial investment and the midpoint's 2.3 million until the time you recuperate that full investment, it's gonna take about seven or eight years to get your money back when investing in a Panera Bread. Now, it could be less, it could be a lot more. It's gonna depend a lot on you as the operator, as well as the location that you decide to open up your Panera Bread. Now, keep in mind that EBITDA multiple, so the multiple of operating profit that you could expect to sell your Panera Bread for or, or buy a Panera Bread for is about five times. So if you were gonna open up a Panera Bread now and sell it in three years, you could expect to make $2 million, which is less than the 2.3 million it costs to open up a Panera Bread. That's a midpoint investment in that, that pretty wide range of 1 million all the way up to 3.4. So it's probably just better buying an existing Panera Bread 
or you're probably going to have to buy five, 10 Panera breads rather than starting up one from zero. Now, what's the fate for Panera bread? They have over 2000 locations. Probably the best places to develop have already been developed. It's pretty expensive to open up a Panera bread. We're going back 20 years. It was definitely less than a million dollars to open up one. And now the midpoint's over $2 million to open. So this brand still is promising, but it might have been a better investment opportunity 10 years back, 15 years back when the investment amount what was less to get started. And there was more attractive opportunities in terms of where to develop a Panera bread. With valuations at five times EBITDA, six times EBITDA, it can be a pretty expensive restaurant brand to, to buy and get into. And depending on where you're looking to buy, there might not be so many opportunities to develop uh, your concept. Post COVID, I'm a believer that the third space um, is gonna come back. So whether that's at a Panera Bread, a Starbucks, the third space is back and should be even growing. So Panera is in that category and they should continue to grow, but at a very high investment, I'm not sure it's worth investing in, in 2022 or 2023 and a new Panera Bread location.